apparently high levels of pollution could be linked to Alzheimer's, which is why I'm recording this video inside. Just kidding. It's extremely windy out there. But all of this is according to a study that looked at hundreds of brains of deceased donors who lived in areas with high and low levels of traffic-related air pollution specifically. And the study also compared the brains of people who already had Alzheimer's before dying and brains of people who are not genetically predisposed to Alzheimer's, which I found fascinating because both types of brains ended up with the same diagnosis. I do think it's important to note though that the brains studied were all from white college educated men, which doesn't really paint the whole picture on who is exposed to pollution. The research needs to be, I don't know, diversified since there are communities out there that are often way more exposed, like way more exposed to traffic related pollution and don't have any way to escape it. And if you're thinking that one study can confirm this, you're right. But this isn't the first study looking at this. There's actually a lot of evidence linking pollution to cognitive decline and mood disorders. Other studies out there have seen high pollution levels influence things like information processing, learning, and memory. But yes, we can't fully say air pollution causes Alzheimer's disease. We can, however, say that it might be linked. And by the way, all this air pollution I'm referencing can come from things like biomass burning, forest fires, cigarette smoke, and gas cars.